Delicious. It's Miss Gal Pussy, keeping it real and keeping it inked. Today is the redo and update of the tattoo tour of my body. Now, if you have been to my channel before, you may know that I do have another tattoo tour of my body video. I'm going to leave that up because honestly, it's just like laughable now. But I was on acid when I filmed that, like, so, and posted and edited and, you know, like, it's a bit of a mess, like it's all over the shop. So hopefully I can do a bit better this time. So we're gonna go through, there's a lot more since that video was made. Um, I'm gonna try and do this whole thing without exposing myself to all of YouTube. So fingers crossed. Um, some of you might be crossing your fingers that I do. No, nobody, nobody wants that. So um, yeah, let's just do it. We've got a lot to cover. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, like what order. I can't remember what order I've got them in, so that's not gonna help. Um, but I'll just kind of start and just see where we end up, you know? If you are new to my channel, hey, I'm Stevie, the bad girl Stacey. Um, I'm having a good time. Yeah, I like just here for shits and gigs, you know, just just like having a good time. You should subscribe. What have you got to lose? Accept your dignity and self-respect if you become like me. But you can remember not to be me. Just laugh at me, you know? It's a good way to look at things. Like, just don't do what I do. But I guess fun. everyone wants that mess of a friend that they can just laugh at and then leave, you know? I could be that friend. Subscribe and like, share, show your friends, show your mom, show your aunt, show your uncle. Don't show my uncles because awkward. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna get straight into this. I'm gonna start. Where should we begin? Showing these on camera. It's gonna be really hard. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. So we'll start with my chest. So that is. It's an eagle. It's inspired by the Harley Davidson logo. So it's something that um, it's kind of symbolic towards my mother. It's um, I got it from my 21st off her. The outline was all done at, by an artist in Lillydale, sorry, where I'm from. And then recently I've had the shading started by my tattoo artist now, who is amazing and who does all of my work now. Um, yeah, that was kind of like just, I love the imagery of Harley Davidson. I love the, like how iconic the brand is. I love like the idea of the biker mole just like sitting on the back of the bike with like her blonde ratty hair, like blowing in the wind, like flipping people off, like while she's holding onto her thug, like biker boyfriend's weight. Sorry, I was just getting a call. Um, yeah, so that's what that one is. It's not too crazy meaningful, like, but kind of like it was meant to be a, like a little tribute to my mother, but I've since gotten something else done that kind of did that reason. So like, my name is not. So yeah. Let's, then we've got, we've got our Harry Potter arm, so we've got um, Jesse Hallows and the um, Dark Mark. We've all seen Harry Potter, and if you haven't, who are you? What are you doing here? Go watch it and come back. Um, so I'm a big, massive Harry Potter fan, as are most people of my generation, so that's that. It's just like, it's iconic. It's, it was a staple of so many people's childhoods. It's like the first books I remember reading with my dad. Like, um, yeah, Harry Potter's just like, it brings people together. And like, the movies are so good, the like, way that J.K. Rowling planned everything out, like, Harry Potter is life, okay? Um, then we've got, oh, my ring's in the way. Probably don't even need to take it off, like, you can still kind of get the gist. But, cross my knuckles, we have Princess, because, so, that one, I wish, it's probably one of my biggest regret tattoos, like, I wish it was in a different font, I wanted it in, like, prison style writing, but the tattoo artist was saying, no, she wouldn't do it, because it was not tough enough to be like that. And it's like, that's where the humour is, like, she didn't get irony, so she was too dumb for that. But I was too dumb to say no, so we ended up with the princess knuckle situation that's going on there. I also have a Harry Potter scar in red ink, just in there, you can't, can't even see it, like, it's always gone, especially when I fake tan, like, it's just completely gone, you wouldn't even know I have it. So that one, I don't even know if it counts as a tattoo anymore, but it's there. <sighs> then we've got my butterfly, I just got this done earlier today, so that's fresh as a daisy. That's eventually going to be all black out around there. And then the faces of the moon across my wrist. Um, butterflies are a symbol of change and new moons. And the moon is a symbol, symbol of new beginnings. So we're at a new chapter of Bad Girl Stacey. So symbolize it with some ink. Then we have the Versace Medusa. And around the top of that is a quote that is apparently by Lawrence Teller. And it says, we don't sleep on the fame. And why would you sleep on the fame? Like, it's fleeting. Make the most of it. Love Donatella. Love Gianni. Love their brand. So... It's iconic, like, um, we have Mrs, oh, sorry, Edna Krabappel, who is apparently the voice actress who played her as dead, which I didn't know, but she's just, she's just a sarcastic bad bitch, and I just fucking love her, like, Edna is such a, like, slutty hoe, like, she gets what she wants, she's smoking a cigarette after sex, like, just being a bad bitch, so we love Edna, even, like, that sassy pose there, like, oh, these ones, like, it's so fun, I wish my teacher was like that in primary school. You give me fever. When you touch me, fever, when you hold me tight. Fever! Ah! 
then we move on to the tiny and beautiful. It's Alice in Wonderland. It's got she's got a plot board saying we're all mad here. It was one I got really early on into me getting tattoos, and um, I sent like this really basic thing through to my tattoo artist at the time, and was like, I need this, like I want this, like. And then she sent me this back like the next day, being like, oh, okay, so I know it's not really what you wanted, but I got stoned and I drew this. If you don't want it, I'll give it to someone else and I'll draw up yours. And I was just like, oh my god, I love it. I need it. I, I want it now. I'm like, oh my god, incredible. Like it's so beautiful. It's so well done. And she got like a little cupcake in her hair and playing cards and hookah, and like it's just like a beautiful, like really detailed piece. Um, I think that's that armed up. Then we've got a just kind of bird cage, which is symbolic of my um. Well, actually, it's not symbolic at all. I went into a tattoo studio and I was really drunk from the night before still, and I was just like, I just need, I want a bird cage. Like, I wanted to have the door open so it represented that any situation that you can feel trapped in, there was a door, let yourself out. Like, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't speak English, so couldn't find a picture of one with a door quick enough. So now it says I'm trapped. Like, kind of the opposite of what I wanted it to mean, but like it's cute nonetheless. Like, don't mean. Um. Then we've got my. Trumpet and my donkey. So donkey is my ex-boyfriend, and trumpet was our chihuahua we had together. Um, well, it was his chihuahua, but she was my baby. Like I loved her. Um, yeah, they're still both massive parts. Well, the chihuahua. I'm not, we're not she's not a massive part of my life, but she's she had a massive role in my life, and she saved my life much as Biggie did. So I will always always miss that dog. She is beautiful, still alive, still well as far as I know. Um, but just yeah, not with me, which is a shame. But I don't think her and Biggie would get along very much because she was very, like, the opposite of Biggie, like, complete opposite. So it would be interesting. Um, then we have our Gun with a Rose. The Gun with a Rose, which there really is no story behind. Um, the artist who did that piece was someone who commented on one of my photos on Instagram saying they like my outfit. I stalked the profile, saw that she was starting a tattoo apprenticeship. I was like, oh my god, as soon as you start tattooing, I need you to do me because yours is amazing. So... She kind of, I kind of gave her free reign, I kind of said some things I liked, guns, roses, you know, and she came up with that. There wasn't going to be a matching one on this bicep, but we haven't done it, I don't think I will. Um, it was going to have like, like a dead rose or a rose like with a petal falling or something, like slightly different, but yeah, like, don't think I'm going to do that anymore. Um, no reason, just I don't want to fill up too much space, like that's fine real estate. Um, then we have, that is supposed to be Biggie Smalls' skull and crown signifying the king of that. And the lyrics from the Hustlers Prayer, Stay Far From Timid, which you can create your own interpretation of, or like, just don't don't be fearful. But also, if you listen to the rest of the song, it's um, it only act in a sharp when hard. Like, don't like, react to the small shit that doesn't matter. Just focus on, you know, if something is important, stand up, stand firm in what you believe in. But let some shit go. Like, don't get caught up in the daily hustle, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, like, something I like to live by. I'm a bit of a hustler. Um, then I have my little baby... Tiny Baba Boo Love Heart. It's so cute. I got that at the same time as I got my birdcage and the tattoo artist who did it. He couldn't speak English at all. I did draw a love heart for him because he didn't understand what I meant by a love heart. Should have been a not to get the tattoo, but here we are. Um, then, where are we up to? Let's just, just drop a sleeve. So then we've got this it's two skulls making out and it says, I love myself. Now that is a bit of an interesting story. Not because the tattoo itself is, um, means too much, but um, it was an artist I saw on Instagram and commented on messages. I was like, I need you to tell me your, your work is amazing. So then she was like, well, I'm actually leaving to go back to whichever country. She was, she was um, from, from somewhere in Asia. Like, she was like, I'm leaving to go back there um, on Friday's my last day, tattooing, and then I'm leaving the country. And I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess it wasn't meant to be. And she was like, but if you pick something that's already on my Instagram, already designed, I can fit you in on Friday afternoon, last appointment. And I was just like, oh my god, okay, yeah. Pick this one. I'm sorry, I object to that. There is kind of a meaning spot behind it, um, and a bit of it more of a story. I was actually looking at buying myself a diamond ring at that time that I got this tattoo. Um, it was going to be an engagement ring because I was having a big love myself kind of kick, and it was after the breakup, and I was just like, well, I'm gonna, like, I'd always thought during the, like, relationship that I was gonna get proposed to. I thought that he was it for me. Um, so so I realised I wasn't getting my diamond I'd been expecting and I was going to buy myself one and should let that serve as a reminder to love myself before anyone else can love me. You know, RuPaul says the best. And then, yeah, I, when this girl said pick one of the tattoos that I've already got drawn up, um, I went on her site and there was a lot of stuff that was kind of like really like Illuminati symbolism and I was, was drawn to that but I didn't like, like the idea of having that tattooed on my body. Um, you know, it's just like, do I really want that following me around? 
<laughs> I don't know, like, I'm kind of big on the Illuminati, gotta say, like, I might sound crazy, but I'm here for it, okay? Um, so, yeah, like, then I saw this tattoo that said love myself, and I was like, oh my god, like, that's exactly what I've been, like, you know, really prioritizing in my mind lately. I'm, I think that's a sign, I'm gonna get this one, and I'm so glad I did. So, that's a bit more background story on that one. I'll try not to lie anymore. Getting blackout, like, all in one day, like, is a C word, like, it was so painful, like, it was just such a different skipper. Like, they literally do this all day, every day. Anyway, so, then, yeah, like, because she was moving, she got her rat in to give her co worker to keep, and the rat jumped out of the box when the tattoo gun started and, like, ran across the thing, and then I was like, catch the rat, and I was like, kill the rat, like, why is the rat in this tattoo studio while I'm getting my tattoo gun? It was so ratchet, like, see what I did there? Clever, right? And that's just a pretty face. Um, and then, yeah. So, like, by the end of that, I was very happy to be out there because it was so painful. Like, oh my god, like, you, you can't even imagine. Like, most painful was probably chest, then that hands were really bad. I'm only just saying that because I'm remembering it today. Tramp stamp was awful, which I will get to in a second. But, like, mm -hmm. losing that robe, this is about to get, like, a little less PG rated. So, summer speedo. So, that is Pamela Anderson. I just think that she's a bad bitch. She embraces her sexuality and her just sexual energy, and I love that. Like, it's something that I feel like I have in common with her is that we are just both very sexual people. Like, we sexual with like everything just you know screams sex and i like to think that me and Pammy have that in common so that's why she's tattooed on me i just like getting bad bitches tattooed on me so that's fun i'm the lowest string this is getting more and more scandalous on my stomach just there and there we have the names ellie and ellie they were two of my, well my still is my best friend the other one uh, like you know talk but like i choose to remember the good times that we shared and why i wanted to get that tattoo with her name on it rather than just focus on how the friendship ended which was quite Bad. Ooh. Um, then, yeah, we've got this little, I think, do I have another thing there? No, that's it. Okay, then we've got this bad bitch here. It was the young poster in the Navy, like for the Navy when they were trying to get people to sign up after one of the world wars or for one of the world wars, and she's just pinup girl, say, well, it's cute. A lot of people ask if it's Christina. It's not okay, but it's an equally bad bitch. Probably better. Um, then we have my cactus. A cactus is a symbol of beauty that is so often overlooked and we don't see the beauty in cacti when they're in a garden full of flourishing flowers but then at the end of the world when everything else can't survive it's going to be the cactus left standing and that is when they will flower and the beauty will be appreciated well it won't be because we'll all be dead but like you know what I mean like it's a symbol of like just resilience and strength and being a tough bitch so yeah that's that one and I'm going to try and show you my back which is going to be hard because I'm not going to be able to see if you see it so I might have to just include the photo if it doesn't work but so I don't know if you can see them, but we'll just top on my dog's face. I got that when I was on acid. I was getting rid of the dog that morning, I decided, and then took the acid, went on a magical trip, and ended up falling in love with her again, realizing she was my best friend. I've got a whole video of me, like, breaking down crying, falling to the floor, and her just running and being, like, there with me. And I was like, I love you. You're my best friend. Like, let's get you tattooed on me. Found a place to do it, and was done straight away. Like, the girl could not speak English. Like, at all. It was the last time we placed open in the city, so I was like, I need to get done today, as you do when you're on acid. And then I, um, I was trying to draw it up myself because she couldn't do it. If I can find some of the flex like, sketches I did, I'm going to try and include them here because they are god awful. <laughs> and if I got them tattooed on me, oh my god, that would have been the worst thing that could have happened in my life. Like, so. Yeah, well, luckily, last minute, the girl pulled through, showed me her sketch, loved it, got it on, I slept through the tattoo, get all these tattoos on acid, basically. Um, then, the, <laughs> the tramp stamp is cherries, like, it's just cute, fun, slutty tramp stamp. I was going to get a Playboy bunny, to be ironic, but then, like, decided against that, it was, so then it became between cherries and butterfly. Got the cherries, I'm glad I did, because now I've got my butterfly here, and... It's a factor, it all worked out in the end though. Um, okay. Now we're gonna get to a bit, bit dicier trying to show you areas. Like, okay. Like, oh, this isn't gonna work. I don't think I can do this without, like, exposing myself and getting this video removed from YouTube. Okay. So basically, that just there is a pineapple. It says the sweetest thing. Look up the benefits of drinking pineapple juice and you will get it. And I just thought it was really cute. And the placement is really cute. And YOLO, why not? Like, it's just a tattoo, you know? They don't need to mean anything. And I do actually eat a tin of pineapple juice, a tin of pineapple a day, so like, accurate. Um, then I have this one, which is incredible. So that is 
a portrait of Lady Gaga posing in an Alexander McQueen dress for those three things that I love, like, a lot. Like, a lot of love for those three things, so... That's kind of cool, kind of flirty, kind of fun. Goes with my theme of getting bad bitches tatted on me because she is a bad bitch. Then we have another bad bitch happening. Hold on, I can put the sleeves back on this now. It's going to make this a lot easier. So that is Cinder Salmon as Poison Ivy, another character who's a bad bitch who celebrates sexuality, who is very, like, slutty, flirty, fun, and that's how she kills her, like, how she becomes a superhero and, like, a superpower, and I thought that was really cool. And she, she was just super hot in that movie, like, really doing that forever just for that role. Um, then we'll go to... I'm not sure if you could see that, but that was my flamingo. I said flamingos are the gayest creature in the world. Like, they stand there on one leg, being all like, oh, I'm so thin. And, like, eating shrimp to be more pink. Like, the pinker they really are, the better. Like, it's just so gay. Like, I love them. They're, like, such, like they're my spirit animal, really, honestly. Like, that's just me in a nutshell. So, that's why that's on me. Then we have these two with them separately. So, we have the... Well, you read some twist which was my first pattern. It was a gift from my mum for my 18th birthday. Thanks, mummy. Love you the most. And then later I got added the beads with the Chanel pendant because um, my religion changed. Chanel became very much more important to me than Jesus. Sorry, Jesus. Love you. Is that it? Then we got some special ones I've been kind of hiding from you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but they're going to involve me deep wigging, deep makeuping because they are on the, on the plus. So let's just. We're back. Did you miss me? Um, so, the first one you can see without me actually taking too much of my makeup off. I'm just my head to on. Oh my god, I can't see myself. I might. I should shave my head to do this, actually. A few moments later. So, the final two tattoos are my Louis Vuitton head tattoo. And like, I'm completely monogrammed out. I think it's just so fun. Like, it's literally like just one of those tattoos. It's just like a good time gal like me. So, like, that's why we got that. And then we've got. That's badass. That's badass. Well, I mean, I am an adorable badass. Two dice, which yeah, so I wanted to get dice with six and nine on the faces. And then I have it pointed out to me that dice can't have nine on the face. So it was going to be six and nine. Couldn't get that. Then it was going to be 11 and 10. Couldn't get that. Still really wanted the tattoo. So we're thinking, like, what numbers mean something to me? So three is my life path number in numerology, which means um, I'm going to be like on a creative pursuit, very charismatic. It means a lot of good things and a lot of things that are very accurate to my personality, I think. Um, so it's something I like to believe in and that's that. And having two twos in my birthday makes me an empath. So that's a huge part of my life and something that means a lot to me as well. So there's that. 22nd is my mum's birthday. 23rd is my sister's. So also got that tied out. Two and three also means something to my ex and I. <laughs> like that I just kind of, I told him, Personally, maybe you two, three. Like, like you know, like it's just pretty self-explanatory. Um. Anyway, that's all my tattoos. So, I'm planning on getting a lot more still, but I think that's I think that's it. Let's see if I've got any secret hidden ones. So let's try and do a final count and see how many it is, because that's something I always get asked and never can answer. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so I think it's at 31. Correct me if I'm wrong. You do the math. Anyway, I'm going to peace out. So have a good night. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. I'm sure there's going to be so many more tattoos coming in the future. So I'll have to do an updated one soon. So let me know if that's something you want to see. Let me know what tattoos you have because that's something I love hearing. I love hearing people's stories and reasons for their tattoos because some of mine have some really personal stories. Some of mine have some completely stupid stories. So, you know, I understand that there's the personal power that a tattoo can have and what it can represent for each person. So I love hearing what anybody has and like why. Like it just fascinates me. So let me know if you want to. And I'm going to go peace out. Stay sassy. Love you all. Hey bad bitches, just thought I'd give you a super quick update before I go. So, it's been a day since filming and we already need to update the tattoo tour. So, the butterfly has now been really filled in. Like, we've blacked it out and I've got the phases of the moon just around the 
top. Um, so that's, I think I explained what it was all going to represent in the video. The butterfly symbolizes change, the moon's, uh, the moon cycle is new beginnings, and we're ready for this new chapter of Bad Girl Stacey. Alright, that's all I had to say, so stay sassy, love you forever.